My name is Ilana Lebeau, uh, and what brings me to Think Unique Green is that I'm in the midst of helping grow a new entity in town, a new nonprofit society called Fresh Roots Urban Farm Society, and I am a master's candidate in uh, the Integrated Studies and Land and Food Systems Department. Uh, so Fresh Roots was an urban farming project, and now it is a youth-led, driven urban farming nonprofit society that grows educational opportunities um, to facilitate community-based uh, food system learning in neighborhood market gardens. It's challenging to be a teacher in BC and there's a lot of challenges on a teacher's plate. So to on top of teaching also steward a garden, also write the grants to get the garden going, also make sure that it's maintained in a way that makes VSB grounds happy, because that's a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. And so teachers are like, we really want to have access to a garden space, fresh roots, can we partner? And so we started exploring how can we offer a long-term resilient partnership to schools so teachers consistently have access to a well-stewarded garden to host their curriculum through. So our pilot garden is the Queen Alexandra Elementary School garden. And um, it's been pretty amazing to be in there because initially everyone was like, what is going on? And now like all the kids come running, Mick, our farm manager, has this like gaggle of, so Mick is like six foot one. <laughs> and Mick has this gaggle of like seven, six, five year olds after school that like follow them around, pulling at their, you know, Mick, 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 can I do, can I do, blah, 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 blah. so it's, it's a really beautiful yeah, sight. I've also in that garden watched eight-year-old boys arm wrestle literally for broccoli flowers, for the last broccoli flower on the plant. And it's so cool. It's so cool to have, you know, a child from this background say, like, well, my grandma used to, like, do this, this, and this with, you know, these beans. And another child from another place, like, well, where my grandma comes from, she did this, this, and this. And I've seen that also in a few different, at a few different times. And that's been really, it's like an unintentional cross-cultural knowledge share that everyone's like, what? You know, and so the next step is, well, let's bring our grandmas to the garden and like learn da da da. You know, and then they want to. I think that's something I love, is that seeing students want to then learn um, from their grandparents and like be proud of their grandparents' knowledge, especially in a day and age where uh, that's not as common and it's kind of fading away. And so, like, what is a way to really revive, like, refuel that? But so it's like cool and hip and like yes like I'm so stoked to tell you what my grandma does with her beats <laughs> and then I feel so blessed that I get to be a part of the facilitation of that like what a gift that the world has given that I get to live this role within the greater community